Pretty soon. All day we have stayed on top of the nationwide cell service outage for AT&T customers. The cause still hasn't been revealed, but most phones seem to be working again. WDRB's Raina Katko walks us through the outage's impact and solutions for next time it happens. This is AT&T's second major outage within a week, and while the carrier worked to restore services, it suggested customers use Wi-Fi to make calls. Simply go to your phone's settings menu, scroll down until you find phone, and then turn on Wi-Fi calling. From there, your phone will ask you to enter your information and press continue, but this allows you to send texts and call 911 if necessary. We're hearing them call 911, just saying, oh, I just want to make sure my phone worked, but we need to make sure those 911 lines stay available for actual emergencies. One tracking website, Down Detector, shows nationwide AT&T outages spiked just before 5 a.m. Most people reporting phone or internet troubles or even no signal at all. On Thursday, MetroSafe 911 says roughly 200 calls came in before noon, checking if 911 still worked. More than there should have been. We have seen over a 30 percent spike in 911 calls with people just reaching out. While MetroSafe uses an AT&T system, the outage didn't impact downtown Louisville. But officials say their contingency plan was to create a 10-digit phone number like Oldham County did when its 911 lines went down during the outage. Use 911 for emergencies and don't call it to test your phone. Both Verizon and T-Mobile say their services are fine and that problems only happened when their customers tried calling people who use AT&T. So far, AT&T hasn't given a reason for the outage. A wireless industry source says for now, there's no indication it was caused by a cyber attack or other malicious activity. Officials say that this outage is a good reminder for people to have at least two ways of receiving emergency notifications. People in Louisville can text Lens Alert to 67283 to start receiving those emergency notifications. Reporting with photojournalist Dave White, Raina Katko, WDRB News.